welcome to tonight's BB20 chat. It is episode 25. This episode it was chock full of deliciousness. There you, was so much good stuff that they could not even show the power veto ceremony. I know. There was no time for it. This was so good. No time for it. Oh, it's chock full. Last time, Dumb Fessy nominated Scott and Brett. <laughs> Scott, yes. <laughs> Scott and Brett. Damn, he just put oh, up his own Fessy. ally. You are so dumb. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's chatting with Scotty. Trying to tell Scotty. Well, yeah, because why Scotty was like, uh, why'd you put me off of a block? And Fessy's like, I'm just looking for the truth, man. I never talk major game with you. What is that your much? freaking ally? How much game do you talk with the, you know, the people that you're not working with? Oh my god. Insane. Insane. It was just absolutely ridiculous. Well, the more I heard, the more I was like, yeah. Brett's pretty proud of himself for his acting job. Well, so is JC. JC's pretty proud of himself. I gotta say... He's puppet master. JC should take a lot more credit for this because... He shouldn't just hammer he made uh, it the owl into the table. Yeah, oh, poor uh, owl. Uh, 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 uh. That poor was... uh, Orwell. Yeah. Well, level six is gonna be A-OK. -okay as on... long as Scotty does not win the veto. That's right. Because they don't want to see another level six person go up because that would be really bad. Well, for them. they have the votes. So yeah. they can keep Yeah, If Scotty's up on the block, they're golden this week. Golden. Yeah, I feel like I just said golden. You're from Pittsburgh? <laughs> they're golden. <laughs> Haley and Fessy are in the HOH room. And mm, she's like, She's upset. You made the wrong move, dummy. Yeah, she crawls into bed and she's just like, I think you made a mistake. But she's right because he did. But and like, he's like I, I just wanted to make a big move, <laughs> yeah, big dumb move. Yeah, I know. So then Haley's just like, well, what about Casey and Angela? Like they're coming after us. And Tyler, there's yeah. three people coming after us. And Fessy's dummy. just like, oh, I'm so scared of them. Like play the game. That's how you play the game. You go after the people that are going after you. He just doesn't get it. She went on and on. I think they even tried to make out and. He still didn't get it. Well, here's the thing. Like, they'll Thick. they'll do their, like, fighting thing, and then they make out, and then they fight more, and then they make out more, and then that's it. <laughs> so she tried to give him mouth to mouth, and he still didn't get it. And then whoever's not HOH sneaks back down to their bed, but, like, somebody always notices them, so. How do they not know that these two idiots are in an alliance? They do. They do. Everyone knows that. Come on. All right. Come on. It's time to pick players for the veto. All right. First up, Fessy. He picks Angela. I love culture. <laughs> <laughs> and then Scotty gets house guest choice. So who's he going to pick? Haley. Who else is he <laughs> going to pick? He feels like there's a good chance that Haley will use the veto on him. And she said in her DR that she wants to win this so that she can do that. Do you think Haley would actually use the veto on Scotty? No. You don't? Uh, Fessy would go off the rails. Did you see how he looked at her? When, uh, when she was chosen? When she was chosen to lay with Scotty. No! <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. Um, yeah, I don't know. Part of me just feels like she would wear him down and get and get Scotty Man. off the block. But I don't know. I don't know for sure. But Brett leave it in the comments what you think. magically gets Tyler. Again! Whoa! That yep. just keeps happening. Alright, so. Fessy and Tyler. <sighs> Have a little chat. All week, Fessy has been talking about getting this alliance together. An alliance till the final four with himself, Haley, well, imagine it was just himself, with himself, Haley, Tyler, and Angela. He's all, let's take out the people that are just coasting to the end. We can you win mean the competition. The people who are actually telling you what to do, but you don't know it, JC? <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> so. Tyler, of course, is playing along because he doesn't want to go on the say? block. Oh no! <laughs> if you did, let's do that. No, he's gonna say yes. Let's do that. It sounds yes. wonderful. Yes, let's. Yeah. So All he's right. just playing along, but who knows? So now there's if Tyler and Angela would actually say yeah. well to that. There's a new no. fake alliance, and that is Fessy, Haley, Tyler, and Angela. Right. Or Tangela and Faley. <laughs> okay. So anyway. It's time for Zingbot! All I heard was zzz, zzz, zzz. Yeah. Love it. Zingbot powers up. Everybody lost their S. 
They were all like, literally. Oh my God, Santa Claus here! There was bigger crap smears on the floor than New York no! Housewives after the boat incident. What if you were in the bathroom when Zingba got there? And like you were not ready. You'd have to flush and go. No! <laughs> Okay, so... Cut your losses and flush and go. Let's talk about the zings. Overall, how did you feel about the zings? Weak. Yeah, I mean, there were mean. a few There were a few funny ones, but some of them were kind of like, whoa. You went whoa. there. Whoa. And over the line. Whoa. All right, well, anyway, Angela's. Written by Julie. <laughs> you are soulless uh, piece of crap, basically. Okay, but, like, did you guys see that uh julie interview excerpt i, I want to say it was with entertainment weekly but i can't remember for sure so like just real quick I yeah okay to. that's fine um <laughs> i agree i agree i agree i agree they're asking julie what she thought about angela and brett and their goodbye messages and everything because they've been really mean in their goodbyes and julie took that opportunity to freaking attack angela and be like oh she's like missing something in her life outside of this house and blah 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 she's mean and awful yeah. and then she said about brett oh he just is having so much fun playing Being this character of the yeah. villain. Why is it any different? Why is it okay for Brett and not for Angela? Julie, I'm a little disappointed. And when I say a little, I mean a, a lot. lot. <laughs> yeah. A lot. It's messed up. But anyway. Okay. <laughs> now that we got that out of the way. Uh, Haley got a little fake out. Uh-huh. Who's got blonde hair, blue eyes, and has a crush on Brett? Uh, Fessy was like, who, Haley Tillman? Got ah! <laughs> I thought that one was pretty funny. That was alright. I love the fake out. Yeah. And then Casey, let's go to another channel. Oh, she does say let's go a lot. Is that the best they could do for her, though? I mean, she hasn't had any, like, really crazy stuff going on. I mean, what are you going to talk about, her bun? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Casey, Casey, let down your hair. <laughs> Brett, giant douche. Oh, you, you're so clean and fresh all the time. But that's because you're a giant douche. Damn. He's such a giant douche, he's a douche canoe. Oh. <laughs> Look it up, Urban Dictionary. Honestly, like, I don't find Brett super douchey. I mean, maybe when Winston was around, but yeah. I think ever since Winston left, I don't, like, see him as a douche. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just having so much fun watching him be the villain, Julie. Tyler's was really, really mean. Tyler's was one of the ones that I was just like, whoa, cringy. that's mean. Yeah. That's not funny. That's just cringy. They called him oily. Burned to a crisp. I mean, I guess they wanted He's to get Crisp zits. in there because his last name is Crispin. But, like, you're going to call him out for acne, really? But did they mean he was over tanned or did they mean that his brain was like, you know, he's like dumb? I guess they meant over tanned. I don't know. But really? The acne joke? That's mm. not cool. All right. So then Fessy's. <laughs> uh, he's a part-time teacher and a full-time moron. Damn. I'm not trying to be mean here, but you don't have to be smart to be a substitute teacher. No offense to sub substitute teachers. I'm not saying you're dumb, but like, you don't have to be a genius to be a substitute Didn't you have teacher. a substitute teacher in your school called Dead Guy? Let's not go there. Let's not go there right now. That's a story for another vlog. That sounds like weekend at Bernie's. Like, weekday at the high school? Weekend at Bernie's. You know how high schools are. High schoolers are mean. <laughs> so anyway, um... I'm really like I was dead though. He just propped him up in no! front of the No! No, okay, JC. Is the best that they could come up with him that he has thick back hair? Sorry, I, I just touched you yeah, and that you was did. disgusting. That was my finger. Ugh. I don't think JC even has thick back hair. I think he just, like, shaves it because he likes to be smooth. But, like, I don't think it's particularly thick. That was I think, so weak. I think the thing with JC is they didn't want to attack him about anything too obvious because I think they would have gotten a lot of blowback. Yeah. So they were like, you know what? Let's, Let's just... talk about back hair. That was lame. And... All right. Haley's was really funny, I yeah. thought. Her HOH was the real Shakespearean tragedy. Oh. I mean, yeah. Her They're not best wrong, friend though. went home on her HOH. And okay. The very worst one was the last one. Woo! And that was them calling Sam real effing crazy. 
Really? Okay, the reason I'm against this is because it appears that Sam may have some actual, like... Problems? Psychological something going on, and I feel like it's not nice to call people crazy in It's that not way. nice to call people crazy, period, but <sighs> especially when they're actually... Like, I don't know her medical history. I'm just saying, like... She smoked a lot of pot, though. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> you can hear crickets for real. Yeah. That's not a sound effect. All right. But anyway, let's talk about the competition. All right. It's time for the POV competition, and it's taking place at Zingalago. Okay. How timely. I want to say, too, I feel like everybody handled their zings really well. Well, we only saw the edited version. Yeah. I mean, nobody was like, F you, Zingbot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Mark said... we. That they should have all gotten together and rushed Zingbot and like took him down. But Zingbot's not even actually talking. He's no. just there. <laughs> all right. So you have to take your compromising photo. It's hide and go veto. Yeah. And hide it in the house. So they go in one at a time to they hide it. They have three it. minutes to hide it. And they got a very long list of places they were not allowed to hide this thing. I noticed they were like, we spent a lot of money on this circular couch. If you touch it, <laughs> yeah. you're going to die. <laughs> we can't clean that. I don't think they were allowed in the lounge room. Okay. Because I don't think they were allowed. They didn't want them messing Mem up all Yeah, that. remember, was it last year? When, when somebody freaking tore, tore that like, giant couch thing? Yeah. Yeah. You're not allowed in the HOH room. Like, there's some definitely some yeah. off-limit areas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it was basically like bathroom, kitchen, bedrooms. I mean, you could go in the living room and stuff, too. Like, you're allowed to go in no those No one places. went near that sofa. Well, Haley put hers in the ottoman. That wasn't the sofa. No, I know, but you could put it in the living room. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. All right, so Tyler hid his veto in Sam's pants because nobody has the guts to go in there. Ah! I mean, yeah, there's, like, a funny joke in there or whatever. But also, like, I think it was kind of a good idea because everybody knew that Sam was going to freak out. But this is the hide-and-go veto comp, and right. anything goes. Remember when... <laughs> you throw shit now, and you apologize for it later. Remember last... Was last season or two seasons... Two seasons ago, wasn't it, Natalie? Oh, my God. Who <laughs> went in my bag of underwear? Who went in my, my Ziploc, Ziploc bag, bag of undies? <laughs> so messed that up. That would probably be James, but whatever. Oh, my God. All right, Angela was pretty smart. She hid hers in aluminum foil in the bottom of the oven under the grounds. covered it with... I... Okay, was it that smart, though? Because she was the first one to be found. But I did enjoy her commentary about it. Like, I'm going to yeah. turn this up to F-U degrees yeah. Fahrenheit. Fessy, I appreciated the tie-in there yeah. to her zing. Fessy almost found Brett's, like, right away. Yeah. He was so close. He was just like, uh, it's not here. <laughs> Brett had a great strategy, a defensive strategy. Brett and Scotty both had... Defensive strategies to deflect here. people away from uh, where they hid theirs. Yeah, so Brett was piling up all the mattresses and all the cushions and everything over his. Yeah, just because even if people did go there and look, it would take forever to move to, those to, things. Yeah, they were just I gonna run out of that time. Is genius. It was pretty smart. I had never thought of doing something like that. Yeah. Before. Scotty was also trying to p keep people from finding his, um... He almost killed everyone, though, when yeah. he poured out all the freaking milk in the house and everybody was milk slipping and and... vegetable oil. Oh, okay. There was also vegetable oil on the floor. So he poured that, especially in front of the cabinet in the bathroom where he hid his. Right. Hid his, so that people wouldn't want to get down on the floor in that mess. F Fessy spilled out the sugar, but I don't think he knew what he was doing. He was I just think like... He just Rah! Spilling out some sugar, why not? Yeah, pretty much. But I can't believe some of the falls when they were slipping. I thought Scotty hit his head, but you said he hit his arm. Was that or Scotty shoulder. or Tyler? Oh, I don't know. I, I thought it was, like it was Scotty. Tyler. I don't know. All right, well, Brett definitely wiped out coming in. And Ooh, that was, that that was, was rough. pretty funny, though. <laughs> <laughs> Falling is funny. I'm sorry. As Almost. long as no one actually gets hurt. Thank you. Yeah. Sam was really upset, as predicted. She was well, just, like, in a, in a catatonic state. This was even she was before she like, went in. JC was just like, I don't think you should go in there. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> uh. um, Scotty ended up finding two of them. Mm -hmm. He found the most. But Brett won, because nobody could uncover the pee on the bottom of the mattress. <laughs> Ew! How hilarious was Brett in the DR during this? Amazing. His energy in those DRs 
Damn. I have to say, I was not a fan of Brett from day one, but... He got better he, after Winston left. Sorry, yeah. Winston. He but really you know is true. the shining, one of the shining stars of this season. Oh, absolutely. All right, so the house was totally destroyed. <laughs> so they walk in, and all the people that were not participating in this competition were seeing it yeah. for the first time, and they were just like, the fuck? Yeah. Sam is speechless. She uh, goes into the diary room. Yeah. She said, it's a bunch of ungrateful, spoiled little bitches. <laughs> She said that she was mostly upset about all the food that was wasted. Yeah, I mean, but I was sucks. watching her on the feeds um, after in the aftermath, and she was cleaning up the, I guess it was the blue bedroom, and uh, she was going through all the clothes, and she was just like... Somebody crushed her dream catcher! <sighs> That's upsetting! But anyway, oh my god, they really were turning up the crazy when they showed her in the lounge room, and she was just like... Yeah. But that's really what happened. I know, but, but when you add the music and everything, it's like insane. All right. Well, let's get back to the game. Okay. JC and Fessy have a little chat. Now that the veto's been won by Brett, Fessy's going to have to pick a replacement. I mean, obviously Brett's going to use the veto on himself, right? Yeah. Yeah. So JC says, don't make a stupid move. I mean, you don't want to piss somebody off yeah, that's not going home. It's looking like Scotty's going to go. So be careful about who you put up yeah. next to him. You don't want to piss off like a big player like Tyler. Or like Sam. <laughs> Hasn't she been through enough already? Oh, no. Okay. Well, anyway. <sighs> there was a discussion out in the backyard with Brett, Scotty, and, and Sam. Sam. They were trying to help Scotty out and be like, who do you think you could beat on the block? Well, he thinks the only person that he would stay against would be Haley. I feel like every time I see Haley, she's either biting her nails or taking off, or her, taking makeup. off her makeup. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Um, even unedited. Yeah. Yeah. I'm talking show and feeds. Yeah. I'm talking feeds as well. Um, so, yeah. Haley, who is like his best friend, but he's desperate at this point. Yeah. So he's like, you he know said, what? Yeah, I'll cut her. I'll go for it. Sure, why not? So they come up with this plan. They're gonna pitch to Fessy. Brett's just like, this is never gonna freaking work. And Sam is like, what? You don't think I can do it? I got this. <laughs> so Sam goes to Fessy and is like, you should put up Haley. No one will be expecting it. <laughs> She said no one will be upset about it, too. She's yeah. like, Haley's using you. She's always sassing you. She's a dead weight. You get rid of it. You won't get any blood on your hands. I love when we'll Sam was around. like, she'll just be tickled. <laughs> she'll be tickled that you did something gamey. When I hear the word <laughs> gamey, I think of like... Old meat. Gross smelling meat. Yeah. Which is all meat, but you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, Fessy was just like... He was shocked. He was shook. He was shook it. He was shook it. To the extreme. What they did not show was when Sam said, if you put up Haley and she leaves, I'll quit smoking. <laughs> and that'll be on your head if you don't put her up because then I'll die. Yeah, she's like, help save my life. Yeah. That's a lot. All right. That's a lot. So needless to say, Fessy is not into this. They're hugging. He looks into the camera, Jim Halpert style, and it's just like, yeah, that's right. <laughs> That's right. But then when he comes in, after he leaves Sam outside, Scotty's like, hey, you should put up Haley. Yeah! He calls her. Did he think he was in the Twilight Zone? He calls her Caitlyn 2.0. He's not wrong, ah! though. Is he? <laughs> I mean, Haley is not on Caitlyn's level. No. No way. She's not going in there saying, oh, you're my soulmate. Bessie was really confused after this. He's like, why are they telling me to do this? I mean, yeah, they picked the right person to try this on. Yeah, this show was so power packed that they could not even show the veto. I mean, there's still Ceremony. more to come before yeah. this veto, so it's exciting. <laughs> I guess that'll be most of tomorrow's show. Probably, yeah. And then so. just a quick vote from Julie. Yeah, so let us know what you guys think in the comments. Will Fessy make a crazy move or is he going to play it safe? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thanks for watching and until next time, much, much love. love.